So one of the most impressive things about the new Google Gemini 3.0 update is how it can instantly scan the entire Google ecosystem and bring back the exact useful information in seconds. So in today's video, I'm gonna be putting it to the test and we're gonna use Gemini to discover seven trending digital products that people are creating and using right now. Whether you're interested in exploring these products, maybe because you wanna use them yourself for your own projects, or maybe you're thinking about building them and putting them out there on the internet. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to use Gemini to research digital product ideas step-by-step step faster than ever before. So I'm gonna jump straight into the Google Gemini interface. As you guys already know, you're gonna be able to find it by going over to gemini.google.com. And what I'm about to show you is what I like to do at different times of the year, especially at the end of the year, because if you're able to see which digital products are trending or have been trending for the current year that you're in, you're going to be able to get a better idea of which ones are going to do well, maybe over the next few months. So we're going to keep it simple and I'm just going to enter this prompt. And what this says is create an interactive ranking of the top seven digital products that performed the best this year and rank them in terms of which ones will do well next year and ensure for each one, you give me free websites that are dedicated to selling these different digital products. Ensure you do not include Amazon, Etsy sellers or any other marketplace. So let me just quickly break down this prompt, right? So of course I'm asking for seven digital products. You can ask for 10, you can ask for five, you can ask for three, whatever you want. And what I want it to do is rank them in terms of which ones it believes is going to perform well next year in terms of the Google search data. Of course, by knowing which digital products people are searching for the most, this is going to put you in the best possible position. And the reason why I'm specifically asking it to show me websites that are dedicated to listing all of these different digital products rather than showing me Etsy sellers or Amazon sellers is because I would say that this is the best approach to take in 2026. But I'm going to be explaining more things as we move forward. But one of the first things that you need to do once you've entered this type of prompt is just click into tools and then come over here to canvas. Now I'm someone that's been using Google Gemini, generally speaking for the past year, maybe two years now. And with this new 3.0 version, the method that I'm gonna show you right now when it comes to doing research, I would say is probably the best out of any other AI tool. It's gonna to be able to structure things in a easy to read way. It's gonna be able to make things a little bit more interactive. And because Gemini is obviously a Google product, you can somewhat trust the information that's given back to you. So right now, as you guys can see, what it's doing is writing out the entire code for this interactive dashboard. So it's going to take maybe no more than one minute, two minutes. But as soon as it's done, I'm going to be back ASAP and we're going to go through each different digital product one by one. And I'm going to show you each different example for all of the different websites that it came back with. OK, guys, I'm back and it seems to have completed everything I told it to do. And don't worry, you don't need to do anything with this coding. You don't need to touch it or anything. All you need to do is wait for the preview button to be available. And once it is, you just need to click on it just like that. OK, perfect. So it's broken down the seven different viral digital products for 2026. And what I'm going to do is just go through each one one by one. I'm going to start off from seven and we're going to make our way to the top. But what I'm going to do is just open this so it's full screen and we can get a better look. So to do that, if you're following along with this, you just need to click on share in the top right hand corner. From there, it's going to give you a link that you can share to anyone. But if you want to use it yourself, just click on copy link. OK, perfect. So that's a lot more better when it comes to being able to view everything. So let's start off from number seven, which is niche ebooks. Now, this is something I talk about a lot on this channel when it comes to building a digital product. And the reason why I speak about it so much is because I would say that it's one of the most simplistic digital products that you can build when it comes to turning your information into a digital asset. There's so many different tools now that we can use when it comes to building a digital product. You guys already know that you can use something like Gamma. You can use Gemini when it comes to writing an ebook. You can list it on a website for your potential customers to view it. It's definitely one of the more low hanging fruit opportunities that are out there when it comes to building a digital product, because so many people want to get specific knowledge when it comes to a specific topic. 
But back to Gemini, if I just click into it, it's gonna be able to show us actual websites that have digital products available. So let me click into this one over here. Okay, so this is actually one that I've shown on the channel before. It's a store that has all of these different ADHD eBooks available. And this is a good example of what a niche specialized ebook store looks like they're not selling ebooks that relate to adhd as well as i don't know how to grow on social media it's all about one particular topic and it just makes everyone that lands on this website know exactly what they're focused on and that's the same thing that this person is also doing if i just click into it so this is a different style of website and what she seems to be doing is focused on getting her website ranked in Google by posting blog articles. And on this website, as we can see, she's got all of these different eBooks available. So even though yes, eBooks are ranked at number seven on Google Gemini, it doesn't mean that it's the worst. It doesn't mean that it's not going to work. It all depends on how you do it. And it all comes down to trying to niche down as much as possible. But let's move on to number six in terms of the six viral digital product according to Google Gemini, which is interactive spreadsheets. So if I just open this up, it's come back with these three different sellers. So let me click into this one. Okay, so it seems like a simple enough website and I'm sure that you guys already know what a spreadsheet is and the benefit of it and why people are interested in buying them. You know, spreadsheets are something that a lot of people might consider boring. And of course, you don't want to try and do it yourself if you're someone that's not interested in them. But if you're someone that has got experience with building spreadsheets, maybe you use it for yourself. Maybe you're excited about customizing Excel spreadsheets, Google spreadsheets, then this is definitely something that could be worth your while. Like, for example, the other day I got an email from a woman that said she was an accountant and she was thinking about building some sort of digital product store and she was thinking about doing spreadsheets and of course that makes complete sense you know she's got experience with it she's got knowledge with it and she would know exactly how to build the best spreadsheet possible and even though this may seem like a boring thing and a lot of people are probably thinking sam do people really care about spreadsheets if i just take the url of this store just like this and then come over to this tool over here called zeke what I'm going to be able to do is just paste the URL in there just like that and then click on search. And straight away, I'm sure that we can all agree that people are obviously interested in spreadsheets based on the data from Zeek Analytics. And the good thing about using something like Zeek is that if we just scroll down just like this, we're going to be able to sort all of these different digital products from highest to lowest. And from this, we're going to be able to see exactly what people are searching for the most. So this one seems to be the most popular one. If I just click into it, you're going to be able to go directly to the page, see exactly what they've done when it comes to structuring it. And you're going to be able to see what you're going to be able to do when it comes to improving it. And of course, if you wanted to check out Zeke Analytics, I've got a seven day trial link in my description down below. But moving on to the fifth best trending digital product for 2026, according to Google Gemini, which is digital planners. So let's open it up see what Gemini came back with in terms of these different sites. Okay, so we've got this one over here called Happy Downloads. Let's click into this one. All right, so yeah, simple digital planner website. They've got multiple different options. If I just come over to shop, as you can see, they've got all of these different categories, digital planners for all of these different occasions. And if I just go over to my extension tab, click into similar web that can show me all of the traffic. We can see that they're getting over 100,000 monthly visits. And if I just scroll down over here, we can see the number one country for them is the United States, which is really good. And we can also see that the number one traffic source is search. And the reason why I make these type of videos where I show you all of these active websites is to show you what's possible, show you what's working, show you what other people are doing, because this is what I did with all of the different digital products that I've built or just generally everything that I've done on the Internet. I've always looked at what's working, looked at a proven blueprint and replicated it. So this is exactly what you can do when it comes to tapping into the power of Google Gemini to do your research, find all of these different active websites, go onto their site, scroll through, take a look. And if anything resonates with you in terms of you seeing yourself being able to do it, that's when you know that you found something that you're going to be able to be consistent with. 
And I'm not saying that building a digital planner or just building any digital product is going to be simple. There's always going to be a learning curve that's going to be involved, but it's all about using the right AI tools to assist you. Like for example, there's this one over here called Horizons. I'm just going to enter this prompt. I'm going to tell it that I want to build a specific website selling a specific type of digital planner. And it's going to be able to write out the entire code. It's going to take a few minutes, but I'm going to speed it up. But as we can see, this is the site that it's been able to build. The site is fully functional. In this case, I'm just going to show you the actual digital planner. You know, you can go onto it, use it as normal. You can enter things and it's going to be able to work as it should. It's going to have a whole calendar and you can make any adjustments to it by entering in a simple prompt. So if you wanted to check out Horizons when it comes to building whatever digital product, I'm also going to leave them in the description down below as well. But moving on to the fourth viral digital product, which is going to be mini video courses. Now, video courses tend to get a bad rep. A lot of people don't like them. A lot of people associate them with, you know, things that are not good. When in reality, mini video courses help so many different people. It's all about making a video course that's going to solve a specific problem. And that's exactly what Gemini has said here. Hyper-focused, short duration, solving a single specific problem effectively. Now, this is something I do. It's something I've been doing for many years. And it's something that's helped so many different people. And it doesn't need to be about building a business. It doesn't need to be about, you know, the regular things that you probably think courses are about. If I just go over to this section, let's see what Gemini came back with. Let's click into this one. So here's a good example. This person is using the Teachable platform, which is the same one that I use. And the mini course that they've created is helping teachers to do more with Canva in the classroom. So this is a problem that I didn't even think about because of course I'm not a teacher in a classroom, but I guess there's so many different teachers out there that wanna be able to teach their students how to use Canva. And the person that's created this mini course is charging $29. So again, it doesn't need to be expensive. It doesn't need to be thousands. It could be a cheap price like this, solving one specific problem. And yes, it might be low ticket, but if you're able to market it in the best possible way, you should be able to help out so many different people by putting it in front of people that are actively searching for it. And when it comes to making all of these mini courses, you don't need to sit in front of the camera and show your face like what I'm doing right now. And I've actually got some videos that I'm planning and I should be releasing in the next couple of days, maybe the next few weeks. But if you wanted me to speed up those videos and release them as soon as possible, just put in the comments down below, Sam, release the mini info product video and I'll get onto it. ASAP and also put your location so I know exactly where you're based so that I can tailor the video to your own specific situation. But let's move on to the next viral digital product. So we're now approaching the top three in the list. And the third one is prompt packs. So this is obviously blowing up because more and more people are interested in AI. Right there, we can see that there's high demand. We're currently living in a time right now where people want to know how to use AI, but there's not a lot of information out there and simple things like knowing how to prompt, not that many people know how to do. And that's where all of these different websites are now popping up. And apparently according to Google Gemini, it's something that's gonna to continue to be searched for in 2026. So let's double check one of these sites. Let's click into this one. Okay, so this is the site. You know, these are all of the different types of prompts that they're focused on. It seems like they are helping people when it comes to chat GPT prompts, all of the regular AI tools that people use. And it's a super clean website. We can see straight away what they're focused on. And it seems as though, of course, they have been able to get ranked in Google. That's the reason why Google knows about them. But it seems as though they're also using all of these different social media platforms as well. Let me click into Instagram. Yeah, so they're posting on Instagram on a consistent basis. They've been able to get over 100,000 views. And as we can see, it's completely faceless. There's not anyone showing their face when it comes to selling all of these different digital products, but yet they've been able to be really successful. And I guess that's the main thing that I'm trying to get across to you in this video is that depending on how you want to build your digital products, you don't have to always show your face if you don't want to. That might be better. It might not be better depending on what type of digital product you're focused on. 
But the main thing that you need to remember above everything else is that you just need to make sure that you're helping people. If people know that they're going to get value from whatever digital product you're building, then that's going to be the best case scenario. And of course, it's all about tapping into what's doing well, what people are searching for. That's what this person has done. And that's the reason why they're ranked right here, because a lot of people are interested in this particular digital product. But let's move on to number two, which is short form video assets. So again, Instagram, TikTok, all of these different social media platforms are blowing up. And short form video assets can relate to so many different things, but it could also be UGC style videos that you're going to record yourself and you're going to sell them as a bundle or as a package to people that are interested in them. So let me give an example using one of these different sites. So to be honest, this is something that I've not really come across before. I didn't know that this type of digital product existed, but that's the good thing about doing this research. You know, we get to learn together. So by the looks of it, it seems like what they're doing is creating all of these different videos themselves. Maybe they're hiring UGC creators to make videos. And from there, what they're doing is building up a big library of short form video assets. And then from that point, they're now charging people a monthly fee when it comes to being able to access their big library. As you can see right there, they've got over 5,500 ready to post videos. So people will pay this monthly fee. From there, they don't have to think about content. They just go onto a site like this and they're going to be able to publish content every single day without having to make it themselves. So the key thing to learn from this type of digital product is that you just want to make people's lives a lot more easier. If you're able to do that and find ways to do that in the most effective way, that's where you're going to be able to see the most success. But let's move on to the number one digital product according to Google Gemini 3.0, which is pre-built AI agents. So I'm sure it goes without saying as to why AI agents are blowing up. There's a lot of people, a lot of companies that are trying to find ways to use AI agents to streamline things because it saves so much time, energy, and money. Of course, you can hire someone, but if you hire someone, they may not do the job in the way that you want them to do. But if you're able to build an AI agent, you're going to be able to do things a lot more effectively. That's why sites like this exist right now. As we can see, there's all of these different AI agents for all of these different things. Whether it's an agent to help you get traffic, whether it's an agent to help you create content, whether it's an agent to help you respond to emails. So many companies, so many people are trying to find agents to handle a lot of their workload. But yeah, guys, as we move forward into 2026, this is what I'm going to be talking about more and more, how to build your own AI agents, how to integrate it with digital products. So if you want to see these type of videos, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know once a new video has been released. And if you want to watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago, well, in this video, I'm going to break down the practical steps that you need to know when it comes to building your first ever digital product. You're going to be able to watch that by clicking the link right there. Check that out straight after this. That video has already helped out so many people. And I'm sure if you're able to watch it from start to finish, it's also going to help you out as well. But as always, guys, I'm going to catch you on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.